So I've been wanting to use these scrap yarns that I wound up months ago. I was planning to do a raglan sweater, but I've already got like two or three tutorials on that. But I've always wanted to make something chunky and colorful like these. And I'm particularly inspired by this one. This is from Hope Macaulay. This one's got ribbons on the side, which I think is so creative. So I'm gonna be trying to make a vest with a ribbon like that using my scrap yarns. Definitely gonna have a front and a back panel. I haven't decided on how I should do the ribbing yet, but anyway, I'm gonna do the two panels first. So these are the scrap yarn I have. This is from months ago when I was organizing my yarn. I basically just put different shades of the same color together. I think these three, yellow, blue, and purple, would go together. I wasn't sure about the green, but I still didn't have a clear picture of what I want to make. So I got started on designing first. I decided on a striped color pattern. I thought about color block too, but it's a bit harder to manage the color since these are all I have. This is the first draft. Since I didn't have much purple of the same shade, I put one of them as ribbing. Then I played around with yellow and blue but this looked more like some sort of flag to me. So I tried including green, the other shade of purple and even red, but I didn't like any of that. But I found that pink really goes with everything and I have enough of that. So I then played around with the color pattern and made the back panel as well. Since I'm already adding complexity using multiple colors, for the stitch pattern, I just want to use simple stockinette stitch. So since I didn't have any pink scrap yarn, I need to use my new yarns. These are all different shades of pink. As to what hook size I should use, I tried 5, 6, 7, even 10 millimeter, but I still didn't quite like the tension. The stitches are a bit tight. The next bigger size I have is 15 millimeter because it's much bigger. It's gonna create a way looser tension, but it'll create a softer, more relaxed piece of fabric. Initially, I cast on 90 stitches, but after a few rows, I noticed it's way too wide for one panel. I tried 60, still too wide. Wide. Eventually, I found that 40 stitches is kind of perfect for what I had in mind because after I add ribbings on the side, it's gonna be even wider. I made the back panel first. It helps me decide the length and also where the v-neck starts. So after casting on 40 stitches, to do the stockinette stitch, I just knit one row and purl one row, and then just continue alternating between these two rows. So I worked 11 rows with a pink color and it's about 4.5 inches. If I follow the draft, the finished panel length would be around 27 inches. To change color, I simply just started the next knit row with purple. After a few stitches, I tied the two ends together and continued working from there. For this color, I only worked 8 rows because I want to make sure I have enough for the front panel as well. The yellow color, I did 14 rows in total. Then I switched to blue and did 2 rows before decreasing. For the first decrease row, I knit the first 2 stitches and then do an SSK. So slip the next stitch knitwise, slip the next stitch knitwise, and then insert my needle back through the front loops of those 2 stitches and knit them together. Then I knit each stitch to the last 4 stitches, knit the next 2 stitches together, and then knit the next 2 stitches separately. 
I only decreased on the knit row for a purl row, I just purled each stitch. I did those two rows five times and decreased 10 stitches in total. Then I switched back to pink and worked 10 rows before I cast off. To cast off, knit the first two stitches, then pull the first loop over the second one. Knit one more stitch, cast off the stitch before, and just repeat that. When there's one loop left, cut the yarn and pull through. I used the back panel to decide how many stitches I want to leave for the shoulder. I decided to leave 8 stitches for each shoulder, so that means I need to decrease the center 14 stitches by the time I reach the shoulder. That's 7 stitches on each side, and I only need 14 rows to decrease 7 stitches using the same decrease pattern. And I can finish the rest with regular rows. I started the front panel in the same way, but changed the row count for the first 3 colors. After 2 rows of blue, I started the v-neck in the same row where the armhole decrease begins. I split the 40 stitches in half by placing a stitch marker in the middle of the row. Then I worked the first half, which is the left shoulder, repeating the two decrease rows mentioned before five times. I matched the color of the left shoulder with the back panel, so I switched to pink after 12 rows of blue. On the armhole side, I don't need to decrease anymore, I just need to work straight up, so I just knit each stitch. And when I'm at the v-neck, I continue decreasing, again only on knit rows. Now that I have 8 stitches, I can stop decreasing. I just need to work to the same row as the back panel and then cast off. To work the right shoulder, I started knitting from the v-neck. Just like the other shoulder, I worked the two decrease rows 5 times, but I changed color halfway. With pink, I worked 4 more rows, only decreasing on the v-neck side of the row. After 3 rows of purple, I finished this side of the shoulder with yellow instead of blue because I wanted to have a warmer tone near the neck. I then joined the two panels at the shoulder seam. I was gonna use a needle, but I thought crochet was easier. It's very hard to work the bind off stitches with 15mm, so I switched to a smaller hook. I single crocheted from the right side of the vest for an inside out seamed look. So like I said, I just chained one and then worked one single crochet in each of the following stitches. When I finished the last stitch, I just chained one and cut the yarn. For the other shoulder, I counted 8 stitches from the end to make sure the stitches are lined up. I wanted to do the side and the bottom ribbing together, but I realized I'd have to do some sort of increase around the corner, so I decided to do them separately. I could connect the two panels at the shoulders, do the side ribbings together, and then the bottom can be worked in the round. I then realized I underestimated how much yarn it takes to work the ribbings, so I gathered more of the purples, I even frogged a finished project. I picked up stitches along the edge of the front and the back panel. I picked up three loops out of every four stitches,
I tried to make it an even stitch number so I can just repeat the same row which is knit one, purl one. By the way, for ribbing, I like to use my left hand to hold the yarn. It just works much faster than bringing the yarn back and forth with my right hand. To cast off the ribbing, knit the knits and purl the purls. But always bring yarn to the back when binding off a stitch. Then I directly work the bottom ribbing, connecting the two panels together by working in the round. I placed a stitch marker near the first stitch to help me track my rounds. When I finished one round, the next stitch happened to be a knit, so I just repeated the same pattern again, which is knit one, purl one. After that, I took a short break and went to this marketplace called Red Hill Market. After 8 rounds, I cast off the stitches. I thought 6 rounds would be enough, but I forgot that the side ribbing is gonna be double the length when joined together, so I ended up doing 8 rounds before I cast off. For the neckline ribbing, I actually had to learn how to do that, so I found a video on that. I'll put the link in the description. The video is in Korean, but it's the only one I could find that is well explained enough for me to apply it to my project. So I'm just gonna copy here and do my neckline ribbing. But before that, I need to pick up stitches along the edge. So I'm gonna start from the center back. For this edge, I'm just gonna pick up one stitch in each stitch. And for the V-neck edge, I'm going to pick up, just like before, three stitches out of every four stitches. So it actually turned out longer than I expected to be. I thought it was gonna be just below my hips, but I actually quite like this length. I can literally wear it like a dress. Another thing I don't quite understand is the v-neck. 
is pulling the yellow stitches up. I think it's because this part is a bit tight. I'm not quite sure about this, but I'm thinking maybe it's because I don't have enough stitches here. That's why it's pulling everything up. So I probably should have picked up every stitch along the edge. And also, I'd probably change the needle size for the neck ribbing. I like the tension here, but for the neck ribbing, I wish I did the stitches tighter. And also, I'd probably do the shoulder seam from the wrong side, because the stitches are big, they make me look like I have bigger shoulders. I'd probably sew them together next time instead of crochet. But overall, I think it's really cute, and I hope you guys like it as well.